Hey, Harper here. If you're a wrestler, manager, or promoter, and you want to be on the show, just email us, heelfannews at yahoo.com, and we'll get back to you. See you at the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Heel Fan News, and look who's with me, my tag team partner. And yes, we decided to stick with the set we used when we had Isaiah Bronner on. It's a nice looking set. I think this is the best set we've had so far. I agree. You know, uh, everybody's been asking where I've been. It's like, oh, is D still part of Hill Fan News? Yes, I am. What's been going on is, you know, I started to venture out more. Um, I've been doing stand up, um, even looking at a couple of movie scripts. And believe it or not, I have something planned for Hill Fan News that even this guy don't know about. I can't give you full details, but just know. I'm working with a former WWE star to come on Heel Fan News to tell his side of the story. So keep your fingers crossed. Hmm. Hopefully it's not that uh, guy that XI had and, you know, he shoot the poop there. Needless to say, we're here to talk some news. Everybody told us that they wanted a little more newsier episode, so that's what we're here to do. This past weekend, in the first weekend of June, is what we just passed, Shows blew up. Unfortunately, you weren't unable to cover any of them because you were busy working the job. So uh, we open up with, there's a good wrestler who uh, is leaving us. Um, he'll be back. You know him. I know him. He's been on the show before. Uh, his name is Cyrus Satine. Uh, he had a great first weekend debut at Pro Wrestling All-Stars. And if we can take a look at the highlights from as you can see, look at that. Oh. Now, prior to this match, he won the Summer Scrabble. And that's what gave him the opportunity to face Atlas Hightower for the championship. And we all know uh, Cyrus Satine competed all over Michigan. Yep. And unfortunately, this is his last weekend. Well, just had his last weekend, his professional wrestling in this area. For this area, for yes. For this area. But as you see, Cyrus Satine made his debut at Pro Wrestling All-Stars. And right now is receiving his first title shot during his debut. Now, I wasn't at the show, unfortunately, but I heard it's a, it was a great match. As you see, he got on in a Texas Clover. Just look at the way he elevates oh, yeah. that look move. at that. Yeah, look at that. And, and, you know, he holds on tight. And like I said, this is a highlight, so we're going to jump from this scene to another scene. And look at this. Trust fall oh. off, off the ropes there. You know, he, he debuted here. Nice stellar debut. Then he went on Saturday night, June 2nd, to take on all comers at DSW. And he put in the stipulation that if he lost, he would leave DSW. And Isaiah Bronner beat him, so now he's gone from DSW. Here's another trust fall. Look at this. But ooh, oh, into a neck nice. breaker. What a move there. And that's how that ended. Um, unfortunately for Cyrus Satine, he did not win the championship. Uh, Atlas retained. But then he had another title shot at Proven oh, wow. Ground. The C, or not Proven Ground, sorry, it was the Proven Ground Championship at an XICW show in Frazier, and he took on uh, the Shogun. Jackson Stone. And uh, it was another good match. So check those out. Find the DVDs for those. They will be on sale, I'm sure, somewhere. Look up headdropproductions.com. They usually have that stuff. So, um, but with that being said, uh, let's go on to XICW really let's quick. Let's do it. There is a buzz going around right now. Uh, something happened at XI back in May that nobody thought would ever happen. So let's take a look at that right now. Sitting out here that could beat us two times. No, we were split up and I let him do his thing. I feel like he's the Ricky Gordon and I'm the Robert Gibson of the team. I feel like he's the Shawn Michaels and I'm the Roddy Gennady. Oh, 
This is uh, just as a. Uh, shocking to see three do that you, you know, know we, we both were ringside and for a father and son tag team who dominated the michigan scene for malcolm monroe the third to turn on his father the dba i was disgusted and believe it or not i was hurt well you know he did more than just turn down his dad he turned down his family turned down the fans 
and you weren't at this past weekend show on June uh, 3rd, so you didn't get to see what went down. Um, matter of fact, I actually have footage courtesy of Head Drop Productions, like the last video. So if we can roll that, you can see what went down. Um, this video was live over Facebook, so... Uh, Hey Harper, we see you. <laughs> May God be with you all. What? They mad at you. Uh, uh, um. I don't know them. We'll be right back. What the? Hey, this is your boy D, and if you're a wrestler, a manager, or a promoter, and would like to be on the show, hit us up at yobadnews.yahoo.com. Well, well, wait. What do we have here? <laughs> it's the Suplex Soda. Jackson Stone, and I'm sipping on my lemonade and suplexing many victims. And you! You're watching Heel Fan News, filmed in downtown Wyandotte. 
at the Jack and Caroline Sotheby Studio. We are on Wyandotte Cable Channel 15 and HD 215. <laughs> Those guys, man. We got to move on. We got to continue on. We'll address that later. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome our guest, one half of the DSW Tag Team Champions with... Freedom Ramsey, the American Cycle, Sean Lawhorn. Thank you, you for coming on the show, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. Thank brother. you. Um, this is your first time on here, uh, so uh, yes. we're, we're going to really come at you with the hard ones. Okay. Uh, so I was going through some old videos the other day, and I noticed that you and Freedom, Freedom have uh, tagged up before. Yes. And, and you guys weren't quite so successful before mm, because you guys had no. a third person with you that was holding exactly. you all back. Exactly. But now that you guys are just you two, first time together, DSW, what was going through your head when you were told you guys were getting a title shot? I, I was shocked, surprised, you know. To actually tell you the truth, I never hold a belt. So congratulations. Yeah, so first congrats, yeah. Thank you. And it's my first time holding a belt and it's like, it was, it was just awesome. It was, you know, it's, it, it was, it's a good feeling, especially when you get a pop from a uh, crowd and they, they're, they're in shock too, because it's, you know, it's our first time. And it was just amazing. But uh, speaking of first times, earlier this year, you debuted at XICW. And in your debut, you had a title shot at the Down River title. How was that experience coming in? That experience, huh? That was actually a great experience. I never, I never expected just being my debut being on, you know, on XICW, which is, it was a pleasure to be on that show. Um, having a shot at the Down River, it was, it was a good experience too. It was, it was awesome going against Jay Jacobs and just experience, just experience the show, experience you know, the crowd. At that show, they called you the face of Down River, but there's one guy in this area that would beg to differ. His name is the Dirty White Boy. He claims he's the face of Down River. So uh, maybe we can get you guys together one day and see who really the face of Down River is. Maybe. Um, but speaking of title shots, you know, you guys, you, you went out there, you won. Matter of fact, let's show the highlights for that if we can. I actually brought up a highlight of y'all winning that championship. So here we go. And now uh, there you are. You get whipped into the corner by Ooh. Buddy Hanlon, former tag team champ. Oh, yeah. And, oh, look at some reversals, man. You were like, you were... I don't know. You look like you've been wrestling for eight years right here. <laughs> nice little crossbody, didn't get the pin. You tag in Free Freeman right here, and you guys do some good tag teaming right here. This is what tag team wrestling's about right oh, there. Look at that. In that's sync. A good hip toss. Nice hip toss. You guys were in sync. And then every time Buddy and Sean Tyler tried to come back, you guys had an answer for everything. Oh, yeah. And I've never seen two, as I, they, they like to call you guys nowadays, rookies. I've never seen two rookies jump to the occasion of winning a championship so hard, so fast as you guys did. And look at Freedom Ram, he, he had to deal with two yeah, attempts. He did and a good he reversed job. both of them, went between the legs, got the tag to Sean Lawhorn, and Lawhorn tore him oh, up. Look oh, at yeah. that, clothesline, back elbow, another clothesline, another back elbow. Man, you love those back elbows, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Then you did a hook line there. I like that, and a nice sidewalk slam here. And oh. I have to tell people, it is not easy to hold Buddy Hanlon up no. like that. And then, of course, you guys got a little assist from the Brew Crew. And um, no what, happens, what happens here next is what I'm worried about. As you see, Buddy Hanlon has now joined a group called The Purge. Whoa. Along with Sean Tyler and Kevin Calloway, at least at this. That was a surprise. DSW, but yeah, it was a big surprise. Mm. They just plant you on your head there, man. And I know you saw some stars, and not the kind of stars you wanted to meet no. that day. But my thing is, what was the symbol of the cat mask they stuck on you? When we come back right here in the studio, you can explain to us, because you do have some backstory to this. Well, let me tell you. I think, think what it is is that it's, it's about me leaving uh, The Purge. It's, it's not my thing. You debuted with the Matt Horror Slam. Yes. And they helped you get a marquee win. I say it was one of the biggest wins in your career. Yes. You beat the MM3, Malcolm and Rowe III, yes. in a match at the signature show called The Purge for Horror Slam. Yes. Which you debuted as part of the Horror Slam. So, yeah, as you were explaining to us, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, that's okay. Um, I have to tell you, it's just The Purge. I mean, they, 
it just wasn't my thing. It was it, it it wasn't I wasn't ready for that. It, you know, I wasn't I wasn't ready. I wasn't I didn't want I didn't want to be part of that crew. Because I'm my own man. I am an American psycho. I am Sean Lawhorn. I do what I want and I I'll, I'll do it when I want and how I want it. Fair no enough. questions asked, you know. And they seem like they're over, they're controlling me, and I don't want that. I'm controlling my own self. Mm, fair enough. And that's why I left. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, speaking of them, as you saw, as we were getting ready to introduce you on, they decided to break into our feed. And I don't like that. And I don't like people stepping on other guys'. St you stop pointing at me. That's I don't like other not. guys stepping on other guys' toes. And they knew you were coming on. Now, originally, I'm going I'm to let the cat out of the bag. I'm going to tell you guys a little inside news. Originally, The Purge was supposed to be on here, but they told me they didn't feel the need to come explain themselves at all. And I thought it was okay to bring them on because we were having Sean Lawhorn come on, and he was part of them. Then I realized why they decided they didn't want him to come on, because they're no longer with you. So, look, guys, like I said, me and D, we're security. We do this as well. People need to learn. Like Rough House Rob, speaking of Rough House, Rough House Rob, you guys get to defend your tag titles at, against the brew crew who helped you win these very belts. Now, question. I have to ask you this. Do you feel that they helped you all win because they felt you guys were the easier opponents going in for these tag titles? Well, that's what they think. But it's going to be hard for them because we're not, we're not going to make it easy for them. We're not going to make it easy for them because I'm telling you right now, we're gonna give it our all, and when we give it, we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make it hard for them. The Brew Crew, we're coming after you. You, you're not gonna win these titles. I'm sorry, you're not. And um, the next show will be July 29th. If I'm not. Yes, July at 29th. Uh, Brass Monkey here in Wyandotte, Michigan, and uh, you guys will be defending your tag titles against them. D, is there anything you would like to ask this gentleman? Well. Pretty much just uh, we, we know that uh, you're going to defend those titles against the Brew Crew, but what are your strategies? Because you're dealing with Hall of Famers and guys who held tag teams all over Michigan. I'd use that Hall of Famer loosely if I was you. Our strategy is just become that, just, just give it our all. That's our strategy. That's the only way. It's just give it our all. You know, don't hold nothing back. That's the strategy. And I would say that's a smart strategy. And then here's another strategy for you. Bring a case of beer. Because the brew crew, when they're drunk, they don't wrestle well. Well, that's true. That is true. I might and have to do as that. far as I'm concerned, after the last DSW, I can care less if the brew crew win. I wish you guys luck. I actually hope that you guys knock Rough House Rob's teeth down his throat. We will. Because after the way he treated me at the last DSW, you know, I, I don't want to use your time. I apologize. I am no, so okay. sorry. You're Let's okay. get back on to you. I'll deal with Rough House Rob later. Um, Matter of fact, Rough House Rob, you're not doing nothing. There's a seat for you out here. We're giving you an invitation. Come out here. You're a Hall of Famer. I'm a Hall of Famer, too, with you. Come on. Come on to the show. Tell your side of the story. Sorry I didn't mean to cut you off. Speaking of Hall of Famers, I do want to send out a congratulations to Trish Smith, the ring crew leader at XICW, for getting the 2018 Lifetime Achievement Award at XICW. Congratulations, lady. Um, let's get back on to you really quick. Oh, yeah. We'd like to do a segment. This is Dee's favorite segment, so I always have to bring it in. We'd like you to look at your camera and then tell the fans a little bit more about yourself and where they can find you and what's next for Sean Lawhorn. Well, what's next... What's next for me is keeping that belt. Second of all, you could catch me on Facebook, Sean Christopher Lawhorn. You can catch me on Instagram, Sean Christopher Lawhorn. Uh, you could look on YouTube, look at my matches and, and stuff like that, and just enjoy yourself. And, um, well, that's it about me. Oh, wow, well, that's short and sweet, man. Yeah. I like that. I like it short um, and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let me give the fans, you know, they, if they watch the, DVD, the PWAS DVDs, which I am proudly the voice of, Pro Wrestling All-Stars, 
We give a backstory about you. You were trained at the Pro Wrestling All Stars Workshop, yes, which is a homegrown factory. Um, you were trained by the likes of Nate Matson, yes, uh, Richie Boy, Briar Wellington, and a name that we usually don't like to mention, but I like him anyways, Officer Rod Street. Um, <laughs> needless to say, and Alice Hightower was like the main guy to help put you all together. So he's you got to consider him part of your training as well. Uh, and I think they did a pretty good job with the first class that came out of the Pro Wrestling yes. Workshop because they got you, Blake Ackerman, uh, Maltese Tiger, yep. Daniel Wolf. You know, the, the names go on of young guys that are coming up and are about to be something in this business. Um, but uh, like you said, you guys can catch him at DSW on July 29th. 29th. Uh, Pro Wrestling All Stars. Whenever they have a show, follow Hill Fan News because we'll tell you where all the shows are at. And speaking of DSW, July twentieth, they will be over at the um, Warp Tour. The Warp Tour, the at, Bands and Warp Tour. At the uh, I forget what the building is. It's we'll have the, the information for got, you. That's the, for sure. Um, Michigan Lottery Amphitheater in Meadowbrook. So if you have a ticket, you get to enjoy a free wrestling show. You mm -hmm. might not want to miss it. Man, you know, you know, there's a lot of good companies out here, a lot of good wrestling support, Michigan Independent Wrestling folks. Um, oh, yeah. I want to thank Sean Longhorn. Thank That's all the time we have for thank you today. You. Yep. Um, we'll have to bring you in for another uh, episode. Definitely. And, and bring your partner next yeah. time. Oh, bring I'll bring partner. my partner next time. Well, yep. I, I, I did try to get his partner for him, but he is currently booked at PPW. So uh, that's another good Michigan company. So uh, we don't cover them, unfortunately, because they're not in our viewing area. So um, we'll see you guys at the next one. Subscribe to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash heelfannews. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash heelfannews. And follow us on Instagram at heel underscore fan underscore news 78.